Oh, shit, I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Nice. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all-men list. Oh, that seems legit. <laughs> Hey guys, Wicked here, your friendly camp counselor at the Hackett's Quarry. I hope you guys are enjoying this game as much as I am. Uh, I, like, the first episode was ab absolutely just intense, crazy, or some, you know, the best ways to put it, honestly. So if you guys haven't seen it, please check out the first episode. I'll link it in the bio below. But I don't want to keep us waiting anymore. Let's find out what happened to Laura. Let's find out what happened to Max and that creepy ass cop let's go the quarry god this game is beautiful though Or he's just messing with them. Hello, my friend. Welcome to the show. We are friends, aren't we? No. I've waited for you. I've waited, yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. I don't like her. There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Think of me as your guide into the unknown. Oh. It's exciting. Yes. And terrifying. I bet you she's our narrator. But if you're brave enough, if you let me help you, I can help you. We can help each other. Okay. Ooh, it's the... It, okay, so this is the card that we got in the last round. This is the card you found. The Fool. The Fool. I wonder who this is. We all know a fool when we see one, don't we? Innocence and freedom. All recklessness and risk-taking. Spontaneity. Actions without thought, but the consequences to match. Think. Think, and don't get burnt. Well, she's creepy. I can show you more if you'd like me to. I... Who in their right mind has ever said no to see more? This is what might come to pass. A possible future. A path yet unchosen. Look here, look here. Okay. There so are a secrets car on out fire. there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover on which I can shed light, if you let me. Help me help you. 
And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. We shall see. We shall see. We're a little bit more upbeat now. Packet's Quarry Forever, Chapter 1. God, this game is beautiful. Hackett's Quarry, Summer Camp, since 1953. Bye. Goodbye. Laters. Peace and love. See you later, kids. Yeah, Hackett's Quarry forever. Oh, God. <laughs> You know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. You never know. Hmm. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic space gods. Space oh, God. gods. You heard me. Okay, spell it. It's nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. So she dumped her ass, huh? <laughs> Probably. Okay. Quit it. Hi, Emma. Hey. Ah, okay, Emma. This is, um, you've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will you? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. What's up, homie? What are you doing back here by the cellar? According to reports from the local paper, the North killed <clears throat> Some hay bales caught fire during the opening. Hey, what hello. Are you, uh, what are you listening to? Just the good to know. The random thumbs up. Back it's Corey forever, huh? All right, let's get the bags. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hi. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. Broken. Dylan, please. Uh -huh. it's, it's, I gotta get the last bags in there. Come on. with this thing? It's just Dylan, closing. please. Close. Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. Cool, thanks, guys. Ooh, look at this place. That's pretty. Wow. Man. Who'd want to leave a place like this? It's like a goddamn Bob Ross. Right? Wow. Bob Russ. Oh, skill. <sighs> Parkour. That's exactly what I just imagined from the uh, from the office. Ugh, horror. I hate horror. What's wrong with horror? You're in a you're in a horror game right now, buddy.
Uh, we're getting a little bit of like frame droppage. So we're gonna we're gonna try to ease through it and see if uh see if the game catches up with itself. What's up, dude? Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, mm -hmm. and two, it was really funny. Oh, there you go. yeah, right. Is that is that right? A little joke. I write the rules, man. I mean, if okay, I was whatever. a homeboy, I would have just want. put my foot in the door and no, I gotta stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! Oh, God. What is this? The bathroom? Is that you, Dylan? I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. One deuce at a time? Ay, ay, ay. Like, we found ourselves a little kitchen here. Ooh. There's something there. A tarot card. Unlock the door. Making life easier to get out. We adjusted the uh, settings. Ooh, the bag's right here. <clears throat> All right, got the bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Someone's got to do it. Used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh. Okay, here we <laughs> go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? No, he's not. Um, let's go with playful. What about oh, you? Oh, okay. So now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just got to take, Jake. <laughs> oh. Oh, sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme, I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 uh, you, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Uh. Oh, let's go mischievous. Oh, sexy. sexy, huh? How does that camp by far? Okay, sure. Uh, look, it was all settled by the girls in bunk seven, like second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby, okay, Nick, and then Mr. H. And... Okay, are you almost finished? Please. Yep, that's it. That's everyone. Oh gosh. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't. Okay, her whole thing is like, how are we gonna make this work? Different schools, blah blah blah. My whole thing. Is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah. Long distance is hard. Up. Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? <laughs> um. We'll, we'll go with oh, Brave. I mean, seriously, come on. She's right. It's just like a stupid summer fling. What else did I think was going to happen? Let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, emptiness, retirement, grandkid, 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 
a nursing home and finally dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand oh skeletons God. they dug up in Rome or something. That kind of in the ballpark? Oh, shit. I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Nice. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all men list. Well, that seems legit. <laughs> Okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey! Right. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you. Yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up! <clears throat> Double tap. Uh, okay, so, um... Total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Facts. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Do not know. Jake. You do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Probably Trust not. Me, chick's made up her mind. That's yeah. probably true. Sure. I guess we'll just have to find out. <sighs> Break the fuel line or steal the rotor arm. Goodbye, rotor arm. Fluff breaking a fuel line. I feel like Breaking a fuel line is just not... Why would you break something when you just take something and maybe, like, put it back? This is a horror game at the end of the day. Hey, come on with me, buddy. I'll put you right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Yeah, we'll see. Up here, my dudes. Why do they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D -d 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 Long. Oh, dick. Easy catch. Boom. Oh, oh. there it is. Oh, Ooh. my God. Oh. Freak. Oh. Oh. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Oh. Freaks. <clears throat> I'm surrounded by freaks. Jeez. <clears throat> oh, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped an emergency? Oh, Ben. Ah, that's rough. Ooh, at least I got uh, some. Okay, well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn, now we burned. Where's everybody else? Why Why would I know that? I'm Sorry know, about the game struggling, by the way, guys. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any cheeky ones. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. Not how you respond to that. Can't confirm that is not the correct response. What is this? What is up, Abigail? Abigail, huh? An artiste? Those shoes do not look comfortable at all. Look at those hey there, shoes. Party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Easy day. Oh boy. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Break it down. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Oh 
Why not, right? Okay. Let's do it. We better not get in trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? He'll just think it was a bear or something. A Have bear? you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One. Two. Three! Ugh. Easy peasy. They like just All about fell the power into it. Of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh my god, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna just take give another it a look episodes. around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts! Aw. This was little Izzy's. I wanna play a game! <laughs> Ooh, that's a little bit creepy. Let's keep it. Let's get you back to Izzy. What hurt can it what what hurt can it do? I I d I don't know who Izzy is yet though. But sure. Out here returning toys. Like a good a good person. Anything else in here? Some old mattresses and stuff. I can't believe I'm actually gonna miss all those lumpy loose springs. What is this? Freak show. Why would this place be in the news? Goes up in flames. No, oh, thank you. Let's dip out. Let's go find uh, our friend. This place is pretty. Ooh, can we get on the swing? Let's jump on the swing. Ain't no way. Who's this? Jacob, Emma, plus... Bummer? Ouch. Let's hope Jacob hasn't seen this. Aye, aye, aye. Summer fling has ended terribly. <sighs> Ugh. Ugh, what is that? Is it Dylan's? Ugh. Uh... All right. What is this? A pool? Oh yeah. I mean, I'd be I'd be trying to flirt with trying to get in the lake. The lake is beautiful, but you know, question mark vials from Dylan are definitely not 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 up there on the things of uh, wanting to do. The road that way. Shooting stars. Leaderboard scores 35 for Caitlyn, huh? I don't think huh? anyone knocked Caitlyn out of first place all summer. Jaden. Chelsea. Sharping. Diesel. Ryan. Brooklyn. Yeah, dude, Caitlyn out here just, what, staring up at the stars? Or cheating. One of the two. What is up, Emma? Ready to roll? Yeah. Let's do it! Let's do it! Finally! Let us go! Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so... Dramatic. Annoying. <laughs> Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself. But louder. 
I get that some somewhat. You should try it. Yeah, you know, a little bit. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Ooh, to the right. To the right. <gasps> oh wow! Oh. To a point. <laughs> nice steering tech. Jinkies. Sometimes you have to play nice with people. Other times. Okay, so you should be yourself, If I were right? to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. He's actually... Never know. ...really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school, like, four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But... It's rough. That's us. You and Nick could be different. When you get his handle, hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? If you have to ask the question, what's wrong I'm with really email? Miss you, Abby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, hold up. Wait a minute. Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route. One last victory lap around the camp. If I die, you guys can blame me. Yes, sure. Let's take the scenic Let's route. Let's get a little bit of scenery. Two months, in it. no technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. Hey. Um. Supportive? I believe you. You know what? I actually believe you. Abby. Was that a compliment? Yes, it was. Your charm is infectious. What can I say? <laughs> I'd subscribe. Hey. You better. As soon as you get home, sub, share, smash that like button. The holy trinity. Uh, okay, well, I'm good again. Oh, oh no, gosh. Cringy. <laughs> cringy. The fake kisses. Oh, no. My favorite spot? The fire pit? The island. Mad secluded, right? I suppose. Is, Don't th isn't there like a bridge is across that it, smoke? though? Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should, we should probably, you know, get back. Oh, yeah. Worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave without you. Well, no, hey. they're probably, like, all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, waiting for you. All, everyone, same. Hmm. Keep it rolling, girl. Somebody spooping on the girls? Somebody uh, keeping their hands in the cookie jar for too long? I don't know. Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp entrance. Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so... There you oh, go. fuck me. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. Facts, Caitlin. Balls where's your patch? chargers? What? No. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, there you go. You... <sighs> Some juice from Mr. H. Caitlin, insert naughty joke. Okay. Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Vamanoos. Just gotta get these bags up onto the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um... Don't be desperate, dude. I can take care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag. Thank you. Okay, we can well, both take care of our own bag. Now they're being... Now they're being rude. Cool. It's like someone offering to open the door for you. You don't respond with, I can open my own door. But let's, let's give uh, Homeboy a little nudge. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need... Yeah. Can I? There you go. Thank you. <laughs> See? Nice. 
No feelings got hurt. I understand Jacob and Emma's whole not wanting to hey, touch bags there. Ryan? But Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. Oh. What were you doing under there? Having a little knee party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh. Podcast. Podcast, nice. That's cool. What's it about? Well, we'll play friendly. Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? Brick. Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. Got her. No, it's, it's a paranormal podcast. This episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The, the Hag the, what's it, of now? Hackett's Quarry. What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking, dumbass? Tell her oh. about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. <laughs> oh, oh my just god. Please the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Please. This is this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, they're supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. The background. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Spoopy Some boopy ghost stuff. That if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son. Or kill you. Or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggett's Corey. There you go. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Um... Let's be supportive. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. Rip. I mean, not for <laughs> life. You got to be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude. Bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Get those butts in gear. Get those butts in gear. Sorry, Mr. H. We had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Ooh. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies' ball as ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, <sighs> there ain't no way. I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Let's be understanding. I feel like we're not... Cool, uh, cool, yeah. Understanding. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. Keep it rolling, you're fine. Just get out of here, honestly. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Take it. Ah, oh. uh, he wants oh, you outside. Hello. What? This might backstab. This might not be good. You can only do so much of a... They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have... Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know it, I know it. 
No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Probably Ooh. staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah, of course. Adios. Adios. Back away from the door. Brian, step back. Step back. Sorry, I, I wasn't... I wasn't listening. I, I was just, like, waiting. Like, I mean, I heard... Point in, yeah. I, I mean, I, was, I didn't hear what you were... Saying. We're cool, champ. Just come on in. Sorry I pushed you out like that. Now you're okay. Everything's okay. Something's you, not right here, hand? though, though. Looking for the keys? Uh, no. End of summer. Busy, busy. You know. Anyway... You were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, listen, whether or not I should, like... He's not actually my listening. Sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know. And my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. That's the most half-assed answer you could give. It. Let's be concerned. Is everything okay? Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. Feeling new. <laughs> hot date? Ooh. So, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But... Do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, of these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories? Uh, I didn't even realize. Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Ryan throwing the out these scariest actions, stories in the world. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? Kumbaya. What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. <laughs> Seriously, Chris, what's you need going a filing on? cabinet, Chris? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Why? Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Oh, God. You can keep that. Just give me a minute. Where in the good goddamn are they? The family? Please say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me. They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. There you go. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? I actually could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. There you go. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. And put them in your coffee cup. Right where I left them. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. Skedaddle. Let's skedaddle. Car's not about to Make start, sure though. Make re sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Get them out of here. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. Them's the rules, you noob. 
I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. It's kind of pushing us out of here real quickly. What's the problem? Ugh. Dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing Go, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. Doing it wrong? What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. All right, come dude, on. Chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. I'm God. Damn it! I thought I told you kids to check everything. But we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Oh. Damn it! And I think this is a perfect place to stop the episode. If you guys are enjoying the quarry and you guys want to see this story finish out, see if we can get the car started, see what happens with these old camp counselors make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the little bell icon to get post notifications going also feel free to leave a like and a comment down below on how i can improve the channel for you all right guys thank you and welcome to the wicked ones